If you only knew the power of the dark side, it is your destiny. Hello everyone, it is June 16th, 2014, and I just wanted to highlight this story out of Vice. It's written by Lee Fong. Cable companies are astroturfing fake consumer support to end net neutrality. As we know, Tom Wheeler is the head of the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. Just matters of factly, last week, this is going to be an update to that, uh, decided to create a policy which said that cable companies no longer had to adhere to net neutrality. And consumer advocates everywhere are demanding that the FCC continue down its current path of shelving net neutrality and allowing a two-tiered internet. That is, if the cable company created front groups and other industry-funded organizations are to be believed. The controversy at the moment rests on the legal distinction that a federal lawsuit filed by Verizon has forced the FCC into a corner, creating a standard in which effective net neutrality rules, which ensure internet traffic is treated equally, can only be reached according to the most analysts. By classifying the internet as a common carrier, in other words, a public utility such as a distinction, it would allow the FCC to demand that the internet service providers like Comcast or Verizon not be allowed to create internet slow lanes and fast lanes. So, to the surprise of probably no one, ISPs are enraged at the prospect of being classified as a utility and are fighting back. But the attacks are not fully transparent. Many of the organizations protesting a move toward classifying ISP as a utility, which is on the only likely option for enacting net neutrality, and they are funded by the ISP lobbies. And I'm going to skip down here. A disclosure obtained by Vice from the National Cable Telecom Association, a trade group of ISPs, show that the bulk of Broadband America's recent 3.5 million budget are funded through a 2 million donation from NCTA last month. Broadband for America wrote that a letter to the FCC bluntly demanding that the agency categorically reject any effort towards designating broadband as a public utility. It wasn't signed by any of the internet consumer advocates as the Sununu Ford letter suggests. The signatures on the letter reads like a who's who of ISP Industries. AT&T's Randall Stevenson, Cox Communications, Patrick Esser, NCTA President and former FCC Commissioner Michael Powell and Verizon's Lowell McAdam and Comcast's Brian Roberts. Notably, Broadband America's most recent tax filing shows that it retained the DCI Group, an infamous lobbying firm that specializes in creating fake citizen groups on behalf of corporate campaigns. Another leading the charge is the American Consumer Institute. The organization recently filed a letter with the FCC opposing reclassification and argues that the ISP should be left alone. And it's a quote here, the fact that the broadband market is competitive and becoming more so, wrote ACI, which claims that consumers currently enjoy increased choice. In January, ACI called Verizon lawsuit that struck down the original FCC net neutrality guidelines a victory for consumers. And they haven't really gone over the substance of this. And I'll skip down here. Leaked documents from the Heartland Institute, a conservative think tank famous for shilling on behalf of corporate donors, shows major funds from Comcast, AT&T, and Time Warner. The push for reclassifying broadband as a utility may be an uphill battle. As Vice first reported, the FCC is led by the former cable industry lobbyist, Tom Wheeler, and his chief staffs of almost all former Comcast attorneys. Several of the FCC staffers previously lobbied the agencies against net neutrality in the past. So by beginning to mobilize around the issue, advocacy organizations focused on promoting free and fair internet, including free press, color of change, and a national Hispanic media coalition demand progress and others. They are demanding an FCC comment period. And you still have time to comment. What they are effectively doing is shrinking down the number of people competing in this market by making lanes slower 
so that if you were to get on YouTube, if you got on Netflix, if you got on Google or Hulu or something to that nature, and it's controlled, most of these pipes are controlled by Comcast, they could slow down those pipes so that whatever you're downloading at that time, pretty much slow to the point where you can't enjoy the content that you want to see that is readily available in that type of speed. I think once certain things are deliverable in a reasonable fashion, these battles will go away, but right now they are using it as a weapon against activist groups. And I think that is egregious. So if you're an activist group, you have your abortion video online, and this group, corporation, opposes it. Maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's not, maybe it's Google, maybe it's not, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's not. And Comcast doesn't like it, or some other group doesn't like it. They could slow your website to a crawl and or your video. And or block the ISPs being downloaded for whatever content is on that website. So I just want everybody to be aware of it. And I uh, was just give, giving you guys an update. This is Take the Gate. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Setting out.